This is Jesco the Rising Phoenix Dev, and I have a brand new C Sharp Unity 3D tutorial for you. Alright, so today, let's take a step back and do a small little short tutorial. And today's tutorial will be on setting up a project in Unity for multi uh, monitor display. So it's actually really simple. I have the basis for the project already set up. You need two cameras. First camera, target display, display one. Second camera, target display two. Make sure to remove the audio listener. Otherwise, Unity will throw a warning saying, you have more than one audio listener. Stop it. All right, so now that we have that set up, now let's just create a simple empty game object and we're gonna add a component. We're gonna add a new script to it and you know what, let's just call it new behavior script. There. There we go, new behavior script. Let's load it up. Now, we do not need the update method whatsoever. So how about deleting that and just set up because I am pedantic about how I set things up. Very, 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 very anal about that. There we go. All right. Now, first thing we want to do is create a for loop. For and i equals zero. i is less than display dot displays dot length i plus plus and then not dictionary display displays i <clears throat> activate and there isn't god damn it I hate these updates later and another thing about the displays is there is an overload that allows you to specify the size. Now, in my case, I want to do that just so I can exit. So 1024, and this is, by the way, an integer. So 768, and then the refresh rate, we're going to go with 60. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's all we need for the code. Do not put this in the update. It should only be called once, so do it in the start method. Now that's done. Game object has it already attached. Now it's not going to show you anything in the editor view. So you can run it in the editor and it just shows that. Instead, you actually have to build, in which case we'll build, then we'll build it. And we're just gonna call this multi-screen all right wham bam thank you ma'am now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to two different displays there sorry about the size and one or two four by seven sixty eight windowed Select monitor, display two left. We'll play. And as you can see, there's one. I actually set this to be an orthographic if you didn't notice. Then the other one is in perspective. And as you can see, dual screen. So let's go ahead and close all those windows. And we'll load this back up just so you can see what the cameras are doing. So camera two, it's the secondary camera. Target display, display two. Orthographic, orthographic, size five. Everything else set to normal. Main camera, perspective, 60 field of view. Oh, well, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Catch you next time.